AI and chat GPT is the latest trend on the market, but will it replace this area of business? We're going to talk all about it. We're going to, yeah, you're going to get my honest and brutal opinion about it. Welcome to Immerse Type, where fashion meets discovery. I'm Makara Reed, the fashion business coach of Immerse Type, a fashion business coaching service and educational platform that helps entrepreneurs understand and connect with their target customers. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel now and start your journey to a better understanding of your core consumer. Be sure to like the video, comment down below so we can know your thoughts on this video's topic. Now, I know you're probably like, where have you been for the ones that have been following me? March has been a March madness for me. And I mean that in true fashion form between writing a book with my other company and delegating clients and actually building this website for Emerge Type, I, I just feel like I'm in a merry-go-round uh, every day, maybe multiple times a day, just trying to push through. But we're in April, and I'm I've had a lot of workloads off my back. But now we're back in action. So let's get into the topic AI and Chat GPT. For those of you who have not known Chat. G- AI is artificial intelligence and chat GPT is pretty much like this virtual assistant. This is my definition. This is not the official definition. This is just what I interpret. If you guys haven't noticed throughout this channel, um, but chat GPT is pretty much like this virtual assistant. So when you ask it a specific question, it will provide you with some, with some answers or replies back, or if you need some type of copy, it will provide it for you like a full blown like report or what however much long you need the report or the writing the copy it will provide it to you i have a business mentor who is very very savvy with technology and he has been doing presentations he invited me to one and i made one um the last week of march and playing around with it is like whoa whoa I must admit, it is very savvy and to just kind of just take away from you just trying to figure out like the little stuff in business. I would say like copies, meta, the the SEO description. I would say I would definitely use this because I mean, the machine will know the machine. So it would know what verbiage to use to make sure that your business is searchable. It would know what target words to use. I know for me, I'm not strong in writing. So in that aspect, I would use it. But for my specialty in consumer research, market research, would this be beneficial to use the the artificial intelligence or chat GPT? So based off of what I've been playing around and gathering the information and just kind of picking my mentor's um, brain about it, I don't really feel like it's going to take over market research. It does say it in one of these Forbes, don't, I, I might be misquoted. I forgot what article it, what it was, but I know it was someone credible, but they did say in the next five to 10 years, it will take over research, uh, anyone, anyone in that area of research, um, that artificial intelligence and chat GPT will be taking over the research area of business. But I'm not really sure if they mean the quantitative or the qualitative type of research, because when it comes to qualitative, the one with the L, um, it's kind of hard to kind of get someone's thoughts, someone's opinion, someone's patterns the the machine is not going to know when someone is pregnant like you have to feed it information that's pretty much how this ai artificial intelligence this chat gpt has learned like we have fed it we meaning humans have fed it information it has grasped certain mannerism the the tonality of people all this recording that we have been doing over the years especially during the pandemic with um, Clubhouse, these um, the Twitter spaces, all that recording that we have been doing, like it's it's all been collected. R- regardless if you guys don't want to read the fine print or 
any any other stuff, but they all have us tracked. So with that said, that data with with that data, they were able to just provide that information to the AI and Chat GPT. Chat, chat GPT. I'm gonna just say Chat because I'm gonna get tongue tied. But um, we were able to feed it information or just what's going on for the now. So now it's able to just give you answers based off of the stuff that's been happening. And when it comes to feelings and just thought patterns or habit patterns, they're not going to be able to pick that up. You can tell it to write. I need you to write. I need copy 50 characters. It'll do that. But when you ask it, how are you feeling right now? It's not going to really know. Or how is Jessica in Iowa is feeling like? It's not going to know. It's just going to know the surface level answer. And for me, it's kind of hard for me to read that article that I um, saw and think that it's going to take over market research. Maybe in the maybe down the line, I don't know, but with the information that I that I've gathered from my mentor and just playing around with it and asking it certain questions and also just me working in the consumer research area, I just don't feel like they were referring to qualitative research. And for those of you who do not know quantitative with the N Though those are the research that has the numbers. So when it says like there's 8% of women who are hourglass, like those are very matter of fact researches. So that means that it is quantitative. So quantitative with the N, this is how I remember when I was studying it in school. The one with the N quantitative is the one that has the study of the numbers. And when it's qualitative, that is dealing with the people, the, the feelings, the behaviors, any of that sort so that is an easy way to remember also another thing I just feel like um if chat GPT and AI takes over market research which is pretty much like an AI bot who is going to be buying your product because if they're going to be telling you what what this person is feeling when that they're not really feeling it, they're just feeding you information. Who's going to be really buying your product? I want you to, I want you to kind of think about this logically. I mean, I know this is the the direction that, that we're going to, but who's going to be buying your products. It sounds cute and trendy and Hey, let's try it. It's it's definitely a weight off your shoulder. Like I said, if you're not a good writer and to use it for like SEO or just play around with some, you know, Instagram captions, YouTube description real quick. But who is really going to be buying your product if they're providing you surface level answers or they just giving you they're just feeding you whatever they heard from somebody else. Because again, how you how do how is the AI being fed? How is Chat GP, G, How is Chat GPT being fed? How is it getting this information? It's beginning the information from people. So if it's not being fed this information, this data that was collected from us, how are you even going to know? Also, another thing. Um, that I don't see it taking over qualitative to be very specific research. Um, how are you going to have a good relationship with human beings? That was a question that I asked during a convention that I went to. Like I said, I stayed, I went with my, um, my business mentor who was very savvy in technology and I'm sorry to really just go left, but I I read a lot. I read a lot. I go back to stuff, especially in college. And there was a state, there was like, I don't know what, I don't, I don't know if this is like a statement or a speech he did. Don't, but you can definitely look this up. But there was something about Martin Luther King Jr. in 1960 something. I know it's the early part of the sixties, how he was, 
having a growing concern about the disconnect between technology and ethical awareness. I just feel like why number yeah why is why is this even why was this even a thought in the 60s and here we are in 2023. So if he foresee that back then, I mean, they must have been trying to do this for quite some time. So with that being said, I know my mind just kind of goes left, but this is this is just how my mind is. I'm critical, but I also can be creative. But as far as a fashion business owner, if you rely on this AI or chat GPT, how yeah, how are you going to know when their birthday is like the, 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 the artificial intelligence is not going to know that unless you guys store your diaries in the computer. But if you go back to the old school ways and write stuff down, then the artificial intelligence is just, it's just not going to know having a good relationship with human beings. I, I just, I just feel like it's going to be a disconnect if you guys just slow, solely rely on using social media, because I mean, now the, the, the brands that I've been working with, that's what they've been doing. And when we unfold some of the things that they're missing based off of the based off of the questions that I'm just thinking on the top of my head while we are doing our while we're doing our consultations it's a disconnect and I just know that there's growth so how are you going to know about the individual uniqueness is what I'm saying you know this AI chat GPT is just, I just feel like the people who created this really solely honed in on how much we use the computer, how much we communicate. We just revolve our life all around social media or just using technology And the pandemic has definitely restructured and changed the landscape of how we talk to people, how we um, do business, how we just solely rely on the computer, our phones, technology, that they just feel like they can just pull whatever data that they can. And that may not be correct. I just feel like, again, this is my brutally honest. Yeah, I just don't feel like using it as a quality, yeah, using it to gather information from your customers I just, I just don't see this taking over. And also, lastly, I just feel like um, this is outside of market research. I mean, I do tap into the business of of whatever, but um, I just feel like the Chat GPT and artificial intelligence, the AI, is it's just pushing away authentication the it's it's just no humanity there's no character so if you just put in hey i need a bio for my fashion brand it's going to type whatever it pulls off of you know the back end the, their back end it's it's not going to be a story it's not going to be a unique value proposition it's it's just going to be very status quo. And how are you going to cut through and how you, yeah, how are you going to cut through, through to your competition? If you rely on this AI, I just feel like this is a field. This is like leveling the playing field and just dumbing us down even more. I don't know. I just feel like the social reality of, artificial intelligence is is not an asset and it's just filtering the way we create or just yeah just filtering the way we create I don't feel like this is a great thing but you guys let me know down below in the description I'm gonna definitely pull a link of the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. talking about the growing disconnect between technology and ethical awareness. I definitely remember reading that during the um, during my college years, but I mean, they're all monitoring us. 
And after all these years, they've definitely been watching us and pulling all our data. And, and now it's being fed to this AI. I mean, smart does. I heard smart, smart. When they say smart devices, smart technology, smart, whatever that does, I heard, I heard through the grapevine that the word smart means surveillance, monitoring, analysis, reporting technology. So, AKA controlled. So that's where my mind is going to end right then and there. I will be cranking out another video because I do have a participant of a fashion brand owner that will be a part of drafting a case study. I'm extremely excited to launch that series. And also the website will be up very, very shortly because I've definitely been working very hard. So thank you for watching Immerse Type, an online platform and community for fashion business for fashion businesses to know who their fashion is for. If you enjoyed this video, definitely like comment down below i want to know your thoughts and we'll see you in the next video which will definitely be drafting a case study all right i'll talk to you guys later bye y'all